Good evening and welcome to the UNSW Portfolio Entry Early Conditional Offer Scheme Workshop. My name is Grace Bambridge. I'm a Senior Recruitment Product Manager at UNSW and I'll be your host for this informative session. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the Bedigal people who are the traditional custodians on the land on which I am joining you from tonight, UNSW. I pay my respects to their elders, both past, present, and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people joining us today. Tonight, we will delve into the details of the new Portfolio Entry Early Conditional Offer Scheme. Our goal is to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of the program and equip you with the necessary information to make the most of this opportunity. As we progress through this presentation, Please take down notes and jot any questions you have down because we have academic experts standing by to answer those questions during the interactive Q&A session. But before we dive into the portfolio entry scheme, let's take a moment to get better acquainted with UNSW. With over 60,000 students studying more than 300 different degree programs, UNSW, UNSW offers a vibrant and diverse community. You'll have access to local and international connections that will help you expand your network and broaden your horizons. As a global top 20 university, UNSW is renowned for its world leading expertise. Our academics are at the forefront of groundbreaking research and ideas and you'll have the chance to learn from their wealth of knowledge and experience. We are committed to shaping a generation of forward-thinking graduates who will make a positive impact in the world. From our world-class degrees to life, the lifelong friendships that you'll forge, UNSW offers a transformative experience inside and outside the classroom. Now, Let's delve into the Portfolio Entry Early Conditional Office Offer Scheme. Are you passionate about a specific field or possess a unique ability that sets you apart? The UNSW Portfolio Entry Program provides you with an opportunity to showcase your passion, creativity and talent alongside your ATAR. I'm giving you three compelling reasons why you should consider submitting a portfolio. You can demonstrate your passion and talent, of course, alongside your ATAR. Two, you can receive an early conditional offer with an adjusted ATAR requirement of up to 10 ATAR points below our advertised lowest selection rank. And three, you'll only increase your chances of admission to UNSW by submitting a portfolio. Now, to clarify who is eligible to submit a portfolio, this program, this scheme is open to domestic applicants who can apply via UAC for an eligible degree offered in the scheme. If you're a domestic applicant and have your sights set on an arts design and architecture or engineering degree at UNSW, the portfolio entry really is tailored for you. Applying for the UNSW Portfolio Entry Program is a really straightforward process and here's the key steps that you need to keep in mind. You'll need to ensure that your preferred degree is listed as the highest eligible preference. The specific requirements for your portfolio submission will vary based on the degree that you're interested in. This may include a creative portfolio, a cover letter, a personal statement, an interview, a school report, or a short video. If your portfolio entry submission is marked as successful, you will be granted an early conditional offer with that adjusted ATAR requirement. To receive a firm offer, you must meet the adjusted ATAR requirement and list that eligible UNSW degree preference as the highest eligible preference for the UAC December Round 2 if you're in New South Wales or ACT, or January Round 1 if you're an interstate applicant or completing the IB. So just taking a moment to highlight some of the key dates for your Term 1 2024 admission. On-time applications are currently open and will close on the 21st of July. 
early offers will be released for this round on Friday the 1st of September. I encourage you to take advantage of this early round so you can submit your portfolio and truly rest easy. The late round will open on our open day, 2nd of September, and will close on Wednesday the 22nd of November. I think you should mark these dates on your calendar to ensure that you can stay on track with your application process. And of course, I encourage you to attend our UNSW Open Day so you can meet our entire team and experience UNSW at its best. To maximise your chances of success with portfolio entry submission, it's important to understand the evaluation criteria. Let's explore the key criteria that can make you your submission stand out. Criteria A. This is a criteria that's specific to degrees in architectural studies, construction management and property, design, fine arts, interior architecture, and landscape architecture. So these are really your creative, maybe hands-on degrees where you could have some maybe creative examples that you can submit. So your submission should include a letter of introduction explaining your interest in studying your chosen degree and that's a maximum of 400 words. Your portfolio should consist of written, visual or audio material, and this is up to six images with short descriptions, a video, a music recording, a multimedia work, animation, website, or a 500 critical review. And that video is a maximum of five minutes in length. It's worth noting that most early conditional offers will include a range of degrees students are eligible for, based on that lower selection rank. However, due to the competitiveness of applications, you'll only be considered for an early conditional offer for the Bachelor of Architectural Studies if this is the degree that you select and put as your preferred option when submitting your portfolio entry in the portal. Criteria B, so this is specific to degrees such as arts, city planning, media, social sciences, social work, and our teaching programs. Similarly to A, you do need that letter of introduction explaining your interest in studying your chosen degree with a maximum of 400 words. Your portfolio should also showcase your original work that will demonstrate your ability and interest in studying your chosen degree. This could be an article, an essay, blog, social media campaign, website, photos, videos, school report, or a letter of recommendation. In addition, you should provide a critical reflection on a unique problem that you have tackled and the impact you've made. And this one is a maximum of 500 words. Today, I'm excited to announce that if you're interested in studying primary education, we encourage you to return to our website in late July because our new degree details will be published. Yes, we look forward to welcoming this new um, cohort of future primary educators, educators in term one of 2024. If you're interested in engineering degrees, the Faculty of Engineering has also got an admission scheme for portfolio entry. Let's explore what you need to include in your submission. A personal statement responding to four questions. A year 12 school report, which will be evaluated based on your abilities in mathematics, physics and other sciences, design and problem solving, as well as your attitude towards your engineering studies. And a video submission. This is a maximum duration of five minutes and it demonstrates how and why you are you are suited to engineering studies. You should address questions like you are keen on studying and why you are keen on studying engineering, how you became interested in the field, and why you believe you'll excel as an engineer. Eligible degrees for the Faculty of Admission of Engineering Admission Scheme include engineering, of course, computer science, food science, and our UNSW Canberra engineering courses. Similarly to the Bachelor of Architectural Studies and due to its competitiveness, applicants will only be considered for an early conditional offer for the Bachelor of Computer Science if that is the degree that they select upon submission in the portfolio entry portal. So please do remember, if you want to study those degrees, make sure you select them. 
Now let's address the question of double degrees within the portfolio entry program. If you're interested in pursuing a double degree, you can apply through the UNSW portfolio entry and list your preferred double degree as a preference via UAC. However, please be aware additional entry requirements may apply, such as in the Bachelor of Fine Arts, if you're looking to do music, you still need to complete an audition. If your desired second degree is not included in portfolio entry, please don't worry, you can still submit a portfolio for the other eligible degree and you can always explore the option of an internal program transfer after your first year of study. Here's a list of the double degrees available for submission in the portfolio entry. You'll notice it isn't the full number of double degrees available at UNSW, However, please do note if you're interested in something outside of this list, you can still place that in your UAC preferences and then submit a portfolio for the single or the double degree options that are listed here. As you prepare your portfolio entry submission, here really is the inside scoop on the evaluation criteria. Your submissions should clearly articulate your interest, passion and strength in your chosen field. Your portfolio should demonstrate innovation, curiosity, and creative potential through the processes, considerations, and experiments you have undertaken. Your portfolio should showcase your technical skills and proficiencies that are relevant to your chosen field of study. Ensure that your submission contains the correct amount and length of material as specified in the requirements. As well as the evaluation criteria, you should consider these questions and make sure your portfolio answers them, or some of them. For example, why do you want to study this degree? You can ensure your state statement simply outlines your passion for a specific degree and why you would want to study it at UNSW. To summarize all the information I've given you this evening, I would use these best tips for your submission. So be be specific and stay within the world limits. Use relevant examples to support your statements. Proofread your applications to ensure it's error-free and meets the requirements. Please note once you have submit submitted, you won't be able to make changes. Start the application process early and allow enough time for editing and refining your submission. Embrace your uniqueness and your individuality. Seek feedback from your teachers or your friends to help you identify what sets you apart. I hope I provided you with some valuable insights into the UNSW Portfolio Entry Program. Our website has frequently asked questions that you can visit anytime. And if you have any further questions after this evening's workshop sessions, our dedicated future student advisors are here to assist you. Don't hesitate to reach out to them for answers to all of your queries. So thank you for joining us to, for this UNSW Portfolio Early Conditional Offer Scheme information part. We hope you have now got a comprehensive understanding of the program and feel empowered to submit a strong portfolio. Remember, this is just your opportunity to showcase your passion, your talent and your potential. And I wish you all the best in your journey towards pursuing your dream degree at UNSW.